The crowbar. Everything's fine here, too. I wish something would break for a change. It's already been a week and nothing's broken in here. Stop worrying. Everything breaks at some point. Well, nothing seems to ever break inside of this house. That's because we take such good care of it. <sighs> no, Masya, it's boring with no real work to do. We should move somewhere else. When Fixies graduate from school, they must choose the place where they want to work. Some will work at factories, and some on ships, and some in theaters, and some in hospitals, too. Fixies are needed everywhere. Now, Fixie families with children like to choose places that are a bit quieter. Usually, they'll settle inside of people's houses. It's not too noisy there, like in a factory, but there's still plenty of work to do. They need to check on appliances like computers, vacuum cleaners, telephones, irons, and washing machines. And Fixies always try their best. They just love being busy with work. And so, if there's nothing broken in the house, Fixie families will move to a new place where there's much more work to be done. Nolik, did you hear that? Uh, I don't want to move anywhere. But think about the kids, dear. They've got their school and friends here. Do you like this friend of theirs? A human kid playing with Fixie kids. You know as well as I that it's just not right. <sighs> All right, then. If nothing's broken down before the end of the day, that's all. We gotta move. Oh, no, I can't. Tom Thomas comes home the day after tomorrow, and we'd be gone by then. Pull yourself together. And I won't see him anymore at all? No, like, I have an idea. What, what idea? If something happens to break down before the end of the day, then we're not moving. But what if nothing breaks? Calm down. We're gonna make sure of it. Suka, you're a genius. But how can we make sure of it? We're going to use a crowbar. A crowbar is powerful and simple. It's nothing more than a heavy metal bar with either sharp or flat ends. It can be very helpful for breaking through concrete or ice. It can also be used as a lever to root out a tree stump or move a boulder. If one end of the bar has a claw cut into it, then it's good for pulling out nails. Yes, sometimes the simplest tools are the most powerful ones. Do we have that tool? We've got our pack -a mat And it's got everything. No, you're not. N now I'm confused. First off, whatever you break's gotta look like it broke all by itself. Oh, I gotcha. And second, you gotta break it in some way that can be fixed later. Did someone say something needs fixing? <clears throat> or am I hearing things? Papas, we just found out that the uh, television's broken down. Are you sure? Yeah. And one of the keys on the keyboard is stuck. For real? For real. And the clock's not running either. Oh, ho! Masya, our life is getting back on the right track. Should we fix them? Yeah, what else? We are the Fixies. We live to keep on working, and work for us is fun. So we'll just keep on working, because our work's never done. And deep inside of gadgets, if you look when it's dark, you might just see us race around like multicolored sparks. One, two, three. Tenis. Inside will be... Tenis. To fix what's wrong, Denise. till it runs strong. One, two, three, Denise. inside will be Denise. all day and night. Denise. We fix things right. Denise. 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 Oh, that was a lot to do. 
You'd almost think that somebody broke it on purpose. Well, we didn't do it. It broke by itself. Yeah, this apartment still needs a lot of work. We shouldn't move anywhere. I like it here. So do I. It's the best. See, we don't need to go anywhere. The solar battery. Let's see. Three times 648. He won't get it himself. Nope. Well, I bet he will. Tom Thomas is so smart. Yeah, smart, but lazy. I'll bet you a flick in the head. Then get ready. Huh? Shh. We promise. We can't bother him during homework time. I really wish I didn't have to write this out. Why write everything on paper when you got a calculator? I knew he'd say that. Without a calculator, he can't get it. It seems like the batteries are dead. Did you see that? The calculator won't turn on, so he's gonna have to solve it by himself. What's the problem? Come on, where are the batteries here? <laughs> Simka, Nolik, just come out already. I can hear that you're here. Hi, Tom Thomas. Well, you can't figure out where the batteries need to go? <laughs> I don't get what's so funny. Because there are no batteries inside of this thing. What do you mean, no? Then where does the calculator, you know, get a... Where does it get electricity? Uh-huh. There's a solar battery in there. The sun turns it on? A long time ago, it was discovered by scientists that some materials produce electricity when light hits them. Sheets that are made out of these materials are called photoelectric cells. By connecting a few of these photoelectric cells together, you can build a solar battery. A solar battery in a calculator sits behind a small clear window. And when light hits the solar battery, it produces the electricity that powers the calculator. I don't see a little window anywhere on here. That's because you covered up the window with a sticker for some reason. The reason is that it looks great. Good job. It looks really great, but it can't work now. Well, farewell, sticker. I can't get it off. Then just leave it alone. Go ahead and solve the problems without the calculator. Then I'll be the one flicking you. Flicking who? Did you forget? We're the fixies, and we have to fix everything. Ah, oh, Simka, that's a sneaky plan. It's not sneaky at all. You better find something to tear off the sticker with. Okay, how about them? take forever doing it this way. Yeah. I got an idea. Let's use this paper clip. And what's next? I'll just stick the end to the paper clip and then wrap it around. Tidish! With the help of solar batteries, we can produce electricity without burning any oil or coal. Unfortunately, these batteries aren't very powerful. A calculator can get enough energy from a small little battery. But in order to power a whole city with solar energy, you need to have power plants with huge fields full of solar batteries. And of course, it's best to build these plants where the sun shines bright and long, like out in the desert. By the way, in outer space, the sun shines very brightly, and it's never blocked by clouds. That's why all of the vehicles and satellites in space use solar energy for power, including the International Space Station, where astronauts from different countries work together. Tom Thomas! What, you guys all done? Uh-huh. Now you can go solve your problems on the calculator. But I already solved them on paper before you peeled off the sticker. Hooray! I'm the winner! Ow! That's totally unfair. If it wasn't for the sticker, you would have lost. What's going on? Nothing. Never mind. That's nothing to you? 
Well done, Tom Thomas. You got them all right. Now it's working. Look, a picture of our Nolik. Where? Where? Right there on the calculator. Oh, I got it. Zero means no, Nolik. <laughs> But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out.